This is a video reviewing the workflow after logging in remotely. Once you open up the remote portal, to get to Cerner, click on the one chart folder. And you have two options. One is Power Chart DMO. DMO stands for Dragon Medical One. Open this Cerner icon if you would like to use Dragon or you can use the regular power chart production. Once you open up the patient's chart, you have a taskbar menu on the left, and it should default to provider view. If you would like to review results on the patient you are seeing, uh, labs, microbiology, and then in this section, you can find previous echo reports. If you'd like to review the documentation uh, from either the HMP or progress notes, you click on the documentation tab. There are times where this menu will be collapsed and to uh, open up the menu and keep it there open when you log in again, all you have to do is hit this pen button and it will stay on the left hand side. In order to get to our documentation, you have to be in the provider view. And with this view, uh, you will get to our free text note. Now, just hovering over this arrow here will open up the uh, inpatient workflow tab and you will start our note by clicking cardiac consultation. For a lot of providers, I've noticed that this tab may or may not be open when you get to the uh, workflow section of the chart, but all you have to do is um, just hover over this arrow to open up this section. Then you hit Create Note, the cardiac consultation. So you will type here uh, in the free text note there are two generic templates so dot sib consult will provide you options with a NICU consult note that has lab review rhythm strip review and chest x-ray review or a nursery consult note for this training video I will use the consult NICU note After you import the dot phrase, it will take the note to the bottom of the page and you simply scroll up to start documentation. So for every consult, we have to document the attending provider requesting consultation. If you click the arrow, a drop down will open with names of Northside uh, providers in alphabetical order. Uh, but also remember, at any time, you can free text if the name is not listed. Next, you type in the date the consult was requested and the date the consult was performed. You can move from underscore to underscore by pressing the F3 button. Next. You can use the drop down for selecting the chief complaint. And the common chief complaints are listed at the top of this drop down. And anytime a drop down menu is cut off and you cannot see the rest of the text, all you have to do is hover your mouse over it and it will show you what uh, the remainder of the text includes. Next, you will start your history of present illness and I have created a couple of uh, pre-populated HPIs that uh, maintain our billing slash coding requirements. So for this example I will use .sib HPI murmur and notice there are options for murmur 
uh, NICU and Murmur Nursery HPI. Uh, this simply includes the context for the HPI depending on the patient's location. And underscore with the down arrow denotes a drop down menu for HPI elements. So you will simply select the severity of the murmur that was documented in the chart. And then there is a drop down for the onset of the heart murmur when it was first heard. and then associated signs and symptoms. Next, the family history, there is a drop down, and in this drop down, the common uh, selections for uh, family history items are available. Next, the social history includes, uh, again, common items uh, that are available for selection. Next in the review of systems, this is pretty self-explanatory and Cerner, the best way to uh, denote positive or negative findings is to use a drop down for each section. So positive four, negative four, and going through each section you can change each item individually as needed. The medications will auto-populate. And in the physical exam section, uh, in a real patient, the vital signs will auto-populate. If you need to make comments or add uh, vital sign uh, values, you can always free text as well. Next, you have the physical exam portion that includes a series of drop-downs for each physical exam section. There are options, uh, the common options available for uh, physical exam findings in each organ system. Next, the results re review section includes uh, a drop down for rhythm strip or EKG. Under the rhythm strip drop down, you can also denote if you reviewed a recent EKG. Then there is a underscore. You can hit F3 to type in the beats per minute. And then here are options for a common EKG slash rhythm strip findings. Next, if there are labs, the uh, last labs from uh, 24 hours will auto populate in a real patient and here's a drop down for common uh, lab findings as part of the review. The same applies for chest x-ray. Uh, if there are changes you would like to note on the or significant findings on the chest x-ray you can do that here. You can use drop downs uh, but you can also free text if needed. Next in the impression section, uh, there is a drop down for the primary diagnosis. Uh, unfortunately, in Cerner, you cannot do multi select. So, in, uh, there are options that have multiple finding or common findings. And uh, if there is another uh, diagnosis you would like to add, you can free text here. In the recommendation section, this is uh, a section where you can use uh, pre-built uh, phrases. Dot sib dis will uh, lead you to several discussion phrases that uh, I created, and uh, they will pull in uh, the discussion data there, and then follow up and discussion with parents uh, is uh, available very similar to our paper consult note and you can denote uh, the timing for follow-up here. 
please remember that critical care billing statements are available and dot phrases by using dot sib cc critical care cc so dot sib cc will bring up uh, different options for critical care statements and you always have to note the critical care time and minutes now going back up to the HPI the pre built HPIs you can get to by typing dot sib HPI and each of these HPIs have important uh, HPI elements for billing and the drop downs are, are key to make sure you get at least four elements in the HPI but to get to these dot sib HPI and if you also want to note a testing review on, say, a nursery patient, you can hit dot sib test to pull up uh, x-ray, EKG, and lab findings. Once you have completed your documentation, you can hit sign. But if you want to come back to the note, you can uh, hit save and hit OK, and you can come back to it. Once you hit sign, um, it will label the note, and uh, currently we have to put a title in and you can just simply put cardiac consult and then hit sign going back to the documentation you will see the cardiac consult note show up here If you would like to update the problem list, you can note the, the problem by just simply searching in this box, and it will add the, uh, the problem that was identified during the consultation.